Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what's in my purse. So this is my purse. It's just a generic and cheap purse. I got this from Forever 21 for about like 20 something bucks. It's just a black crossbody bag and then it also has a short handle. You can take off the crossbody straps if you want to just hold it like this. And on the inside, it doesn't have a zipper. It's actually a butt enclosure. For my purse, I usually just tend to carry the essentials, nothing that's really unnecessary. I like to clean my purse like every few days because I just don't like to have much clutter in my purse because then it's really sucks when you're like trying to look for something and you're shuffling through your bag and you can't find it because you have so many things. So I'm just going to be sharing my essentials in my bag and what I always carry in it. We'll start off with the outside. I always carry hand sanitizer. I like to just carry it out here because I do not want to have to deal with shuffling through my bag to find my hand sanitizer. The point of hand sanitizer is to make sure that the germs on your hands, you know, get killed. So I think that like defeats the purpose of looking through your bag to get your hand sanitizer to sanitize your hands so that's why i just keep it here for the inside an essential that i always keep with me obviously is my phone but i don't have it in my purse right now since i'm using that to record but some other essentials for me are glasses so i wear prescription glasses i'm pretty blind i cannot leave my house without it i can't see anything like nothing's enjoyable like even riding in the car it's just not so i always carry two pairs of glasses with me the first pair of glasses are my regular prescription glasses for this pair i usually switch it out depending on my outfit because i have different pairs of glasses to match different outfits i actually am due for a checkup for my eyes it's been like two years since i got glasses so I'm actually thinking about getting a checkup and getting new glasses. So if you guys out there who wear glasses like me that are prescription and you want to know cheap places to get prescription glasses, let me know down below if you would want a video on that of where to get cheap glasses that are still really good quality. So the pair of glasses that I have right now are just these see-through pink ones. They look like this. I got these from my local optometrist, so these were definitely pretty expensive, but I started getting my glasses online after this and you can really find some really cute pairs. I even found the glasses online that looked exactly like this for a third of the price. And then next I just have my prescription sunnies. So these don't ever change. I have another pair of prescription sunnies but I don't really like them so I don't wear them at all. But I got these from iBuyDirect and they're just these retro round shades. So they're basically a dupe for the Ray-Ban ones. But they're so cute i love them i think they're so flattering on everybody continuing with the theme of glasses i always make sure that i carry my microfiber glass cleaner it's a must but also i make sure that i carry lens cleansing wipes so i have a few packets here these co have come in handy so many times because sometimes when we wear our glasses and we take them off or we put them down our glasses get really dirty and sometimes the microfiber isn't enough to clean it so these have come in handy so much and I have to have them in my purse. I guess we should just continue with eyes, eye drops. I don't use them as often as I should, but they have come in handy. I used this about like two weeks ago. So I would definitely say you never know when you need these. Another essential is a hair tie. So most of the times I do leave the house with my hair up, but for times that I don't, I think it is so important to have a hair tie. Sometimes it might suddenly just get hot and then you just get sweaty having your hair down. Being able to put your hair up is very important. I never carried this before, but after a while I learned my lesson. Next, I have some Kleenex. I suffer from allergies year round, so Kleenex comes so much in handy. You do not want to be that person who really needs to clean your nose and not have anything to clean them with. Next, I have this hand cream. I don't actually use hand cream that often. But there have been times where my hands have been dry and I've needed a hand cream. And then also sometimes when you're out with people, they'll need hand cream. So that really comes in handy. So I also carry one of these. And then next I have this Blistex medicated lip balm. I think it's so important to have lip balm with you. Suffering from chapped lips is no fun. Next I have my house keys. I have them on this cute little shoe keychain that my mom got. I have been guilty of leaving my keys in my house so many times before while going out and then i come home and it's just like nobody's home to open the door for me so i can never forget these like i said i like to clean my bag pretty often but right now currently i do have a receipt from cvs um cvs receipts are like 10 feet long but they always have a bunch of coupons on them so my mom told me to just save it in my purse for whenever i'll need a coupon of course you cannot leave the house without your wallet so i have this mini card holder from 
Victoria's Secret. Here I just have my ID, my debit card, my credit card, which I don't use anymore. And then I also have this Visa gift card that somebody gave me. And honestly, I'm not even sure if it still has money in it. I also, inside of the pocket, carry some cash. I really want to get a new wallet because my card holder just doesn't carry enough cards. But I don't want a really long wallet because that's just too much. I don't like big wallets. Because of that, in one of my pockets, I do carry some gift cards. Just good to carry your gift cards with you because you never know when you're going to pass by that store or that restaurant and really wish you had them. And the last and final thing that I am currently carrying in my purse is my COVID vaccination record card. So I got vaccinated two weeks ago. I did get the Johnson & Johnson, so this was before those, the stuff about Johnson & Johnson came out. I'm feeling fine, so I'm not really worried, but I'm just really glad that I'm finally vaccinated. I'm so excited because in a week I can finally see my friends who I haven't seen for a really long time. I'm gonna be carrying this card with me at all times. So that was the end of the video. That is what I keep in my purse. So those are most of my essentials. So comment down below and let me know what are some essentials in your purse. So if you enjoyed the video, I hope you guys will like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!